Hi guys, it's Ivy. So I'm going to teach you what it means to have a planet in detriment in your chart. What is detriment? Detriment is the opposite of domicile and rulership. Now, another word that we use instead of saying detriment is exile. It's the state of being barred from one's native country, typically for political or punitive reasons, banishment, expulsion, deportation, eviction, uprooting. So all of this stuff sounds like really extreme right now i prefer to use the word exile just because it's more descriptive of what this whole concept is now in a person's birth chart it's probably not going to be anything about politics or being um like expelled from your own country like those things are like pretty you know extreme Rather, it's going to say something about being outside or being in a place where you are unfamiliar, not having that support system around you. So one thing that I encounter a lot through reading comments is uh, sometimes people will say, my Libra is in detriment. I have Sagittarius in detriment. So a zodiac sign can't be in detriment only a planet can. The proper way to say it is, I have Mars in detriment. I have the sun in detriment. Uh, I have Jupiter in detriment. So detriment is the opposite of rulership. Now you'll see that I use the word rulership and domicile interchangeably. That's because they can be used interchangeably. It means the same thing. So in case you don't know what zodiac signs cause a planet to be in detriment, Here's a chart. You'll notice that the detriments are exactly opposite the domicile. Like Saturn is in domicile in Capricorn. The opposite of Capricorn is Cancer. So Saturn is in detriment in Cancer. It's really important to think in terms of opposites and likeness when it comes to astrology. So you can know when a planet is comfortable, when a planet is functioning the way it wants to function. And when a planet is uncomfortable, when a planet is being harmed, and when a planet may represent challenging themes in your chart. Now, when a planet is in detriment, that planet misbehaves. So that planet can't do what comes natural to it. And it will act against its own best interests, like it will undermine itself. Why is this? Well, when a planet is in its domicile, that means that a planet is very comfortable and it's being supported. It's in an environment that wants it to be there. Now, when a planet is in the opposite, what happens when you're in an environment that is not supportive of you or you're in an environment that doesn't want you to be there or you don't want to be in that environment? You may misbehave a little. You may do things that don't come natural to you or that isn't intuitive to you. You may be forced to do things that goes against your own best interest. You may have to undermine yourself simply because you're in a place that is inhospitable for you. If you have a planet in detriment, here are some of the themes that you may see show up in your life. Being out of place, um, going against the grain, being outside of your comfort zone, um, contradictions, isolation, you know, standing out, doing things that are unnatural for you, uh, being unsupported, like uh, you don't have people around you that support you, or maybe the environment, it's just like, it's not good for you. It doesn't vibe with you. It doesn't match your energy. Um, being unlike yourself, not doing what is expected of you, not doing what you intend to do. And you'll see planets in detriment have Saturn vibes. And that's because Saturn rules opposites. Saturn rules not fitting in. Saturn rules banishment. Saturn rules being on the outside looking in or being the outsider amongst insiders. Think about a vegan in a steakhouse, right? They are in an environment that just like, it doesn't vibe well with them and they may have to undermine themselves. I don't have anything to eat. All there is to eat is dead animals and I'm a vegan and if I don't eat, I will starve. So now I have to undermine myself, right? 
um, or like an atheist in a Christian family. I don't believe in God, but everyone around me believes in him. They look at me funny. They treat me like an outsider. I do things that goes against their expectations. My family doesn't let me do what I want to do or wear what I want to wear. So because of the religious environment that I'm in, I can't do what's best for me. I have to do things that come unnatural to me. Or you can think about a woman who works in a man-dominated industry. Everyone here looks at me funny. Everyone thinks I'm incompetent. I get paid less. I have to work harder for promotions. I have to take time off for childcare. I can't exactly do what everyone else does because I have different biology. I have different needs. I have a different lifestyle. Many people think that having a planet in detriment means that there's something wrong with them. But most of the time in a birth chart, there is actually nothing wrong with you. It means that you are who you are, but for some annoying reason you have found yourself in an environment right in circumstances that just doesn't vibe with who you are it doesn't support you it is opposite of everything you are everything you stand for everything you believe in you may suffer a bit from feeling like you don't belong feeling out of place you know uh feeling exiled now in this chart venus is in scorpio now i know that Venus rules Taurus. And I also know that the opposite of Taurus is Scorpio. So that means Venus is in its detriment. So what does this mean? How do we interpret it? There are three ways that you can interpret this in your birth chart. The first way is you can interpret Venus based on the house that she's in. The second way is you can interpret Venus based on the natural things that Venus rules. And the third way is you can interpret Venus based on what houses the planet rules in this chart. So Venus is in the seventh house. What does it mean to have a planet in its detriment in the seventh house? Well, I know that the seventh house is about relationships. And I know that the seventh house often describes what someone's partner is going to be like. So I might say that your partner is a bit of an outcast. Your partner may struggle a bit when it comes to relationships. Your partner may feel unsupported in relationships, like they're not getting the attention or the love or the connection that they need. I can also interpret Venus based on what Venus naturally rules. Venus naturally rules creativity, love, connection, pleasure. Maybe your romantic needs go unmet in relationships. Maybe you naturally attract people who are very different from you, like your opposite, right? Like you attract people you don't have much in common with. Maybe it's a little harder for you to experience joy and pleasure because when you're supposed to be relaxing, you want to work. And when you're working, all you can think about is relaxing. I can also interpret Venus based on what houses it rules. So in this chart, Venus rules the first house and the sixth house. I know that the first house is the house of self, right? It rules your body. It rules your personality. It rules your health. It rules your autonomy, your ability to make decisions for yourself and do things that are in your own best interest. And since the ruler of the first house is Venus in detriment, this could symbolize in general in your life, there are going to be themes of not fitting in, of feeling out of place, of feeling like you are surrounded by people who don't understand you, who can't relate to you. It could symbolize issues relating to or connecting with your own body, eating disorders, body dysmorphia, sensory issues, any type of health condition. For example, my brother, the ruler of his first house is in detriment. It actually looks a lot like this chart. He is an extrovert in a family of introverts. He wants to go out and meet people and have friends and all the kind of stuff the rest of us in this house we just want to kind of like be alone like just be with each other like stay in my brother also has epilepsy so there's a sort of like disconnection happening between himself and his body right like sometimes his brain and his body decides to just seize up and it goes against his own best interest but really this is just about there's something different going on here this person may suffer a little bit in life because they are in an environment that doesn't support who they are venus also rules the sixth house i know that the sixth house is about poor health right it's about accidents and injuries 
It's about feeling like a slave to the circumstances of your life. It's about doing what needs to be done, not because you want to, but because you have to. And since the ruler of the sixth house is a planet in its detriment, this person has probably suffered like a significant accident or injury in their life. Maybe they deal with a chronic health condition. Maybe they're disabled. Maybe the things that they have to do aren't necessarily the things that are best for them. You know, like I have to wake up every morning and let my dog out at 5 a.m. But doing that means that I don't get a full eight hours of sleep. Or, you know, I have to take birth control because I have dysmenorrhea. But birth control isn't good for me. It makes my hair fall out. Having a planet in detriment doesn't mean that you are bad. It means that you have found yourself in circumstances or in an environment that may be bad for you. It may not be what you need. It may not be able to support you. So maybe you feel like an outsider. Maybe you don't fit in. Maybe you suffer a little bit. Maybe you have to do things that you don't want to do. Maybe you have to undermine yourself. But it isn't all bad because when you are out of place in life, right, you often have to find creative ways to fit in or creative ways to live or creative ways to manage yourself. So planets in detriment can inspire a lot of creativity, a lot of thinking outside the box, a lot of, okay, this is the situation that I'm in. How do I make it work for me? It can easily symbolize uniqueness for a lot of people. 